there's upwards of about 7 million people who are diagnosed with some form of dementia. So there's about twice as many people who find themselves in a care partnering or caregiving role. This is probably the most difficult thing they're going through and the hardest job they will ever have. That's an honest reaction to this and we need to allow caregivers the opportunity to express themselves and to let us know all of the feelings that they're having. And that includes resentment and anger and guilt and grief. But at the same time, there is hope. By acknowledging the difficulty, you're also opening up the space for joy and gratitude and even happiness to reside. There are very few evidence-based medical treatments and no known cures for dementia. And as a result, there's a lot of conflicting information, both from family and friends and from the internet. And as a caregiver, it's often hard to know whose advice do you follow. Reading day to day as a professional, I found it incredibly helpful. It covers the entire journey from diagnosis to the end of life. This is something to have by the bedside or on the kitchen table because I would refer to it often throughout my caregiving journey. It's not just a book I would pick up once and read. This would be something I would use day to day, week to week, month to month. What I really wanted to bring to life in this book is to share my experiences in being with caregivers through this journey and what they've taught me about where they find that resilience, where they get their well-being and their ability to live optimally alongside this disease. It's really a book that I think it can give people perspective and it can empower people with an approach and an attitude about how to think about this unrequested role or journey that they now find themselves in.